Hannah, so it's a Monday. So it's pretty early in the morning, like 11 a.m. And I just got up. So I was gonna try to be fancy and make a smoothie for breakfast. So I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but I'm going to document me attempting and we'll see if it's a win or a fail. So we'll start with ingredients. First we have skim milk. I'm not sure how much, we'll see. Um, then we have some mango chunks that are frozen that I'm kind of letting thaw right now. We have some fresh pineapple and some yogurt. For the devices I'm going to use, I am using a magic bullet. I have never used it before. Um, no one in my family has, we just got it. So we'll see how this works. So the first thing I think I'm gonna put in is figure out how to work this. Um, okay, I think I put stuff in here and then I like connect this and then I flip it. So hopefully I'm not wrong and don't break it. So the first thing I'll put in I guess is the yogurt because it won't like splash around. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do like three spoonfuls and assume that's about right. Um, then I'm gonna put in some chunks of pineapple. I don't have a spoon for the pineapple, so good thing I washed my hands. Um, so far I put in like five chunks. That was a really little chunk. Six, seven, eight. That looks good. I'll probably have to put in less mango, but that's okay because I like mango less than I like pineapple. Um, now I actually have to open the mango, which is really stupid because I don't know where to put this. Okay, that works. So I'm going to grab some scissors. And then, is this one of those that has a zipper? I don't think it is. Dawing instruction. You should defrost it for 45 minutes. It's been defrosting for about five. So, I mean, we're gonna have ice chunks, but that's okay. Um, oh, it smells really good. So, here's some mango. I think that's good. I did like three really little, like, fingertip Holes, almost like pinches but with more mango and not like spices. I don't know. I don't know how to cook guys. Why are we watching this? Um, then we're just gonna do a splash of milk to make it like liquidy and not like major chunks and so that it'll be smooth and whatnot. That's probably way too much milk. And now I'm gonna put the cap thing, screw it on. I'm gonna make sure it's nice and tight because I really don't want milk flying everywhere because that would be bad. And I'm gonna do the dangerous part now and flip it. And all the yogurt got stuck in the top, so that's cool. Um, connecting it to the magic bullet. And it's kind of staying very chunky, especially because all the yogurt won't come to the bottom. Um, so let's see if I can fix anything. Apparently, you aren't supposed to put the yogurt in first. Wait, this thing stands up on its own. How come I didn't notice that before? So I've got a spoon, I'm mixing it up a little, make sure all the chunks get distributed and mixing the yogurt in with it so it doesn't all stick to the top. It smells really good. Doesn't look too appetizing though. Screwing the top back on and gonna try this again, see if the yogurt will actually get mixed in with everything this time. Hopefully. Right? And go. Okay. Let's see if it's still chunky.
Oh, it smells so good. Nope, it's really smooth. Um, so now I'm gonna get a glass out and pour it in and see if it passed the taste test. I'm gonna use a glass with the fox on it because it's adorable. pretty good. I think it passes. Oh, I spilled some. I did get a few big chunks in there, but otherwise it's perfect. That's it for this video. I guess we can consider this a win because I like it. And I will see you on Friday. Bye!